in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the best temples in the old town, the old city of Chiang Mai. Third time. <laughs> And I'm going to show you the best coffee house in the whole of Chiang Mai. This is a really cool place. And we're just going to be having a lot of fun here. We are literally at a live televised Muay Thai fight. A 16 year old and a 17 year old just beating the crap out of one another. That is unbelievably aggressive. I'm really excited for this because I really love Chiang Mai. And hopefully in this video, you're also going to fall in love with Chiang Mai. Like my girlfriend fell in love with me. And so the weather is absolutely glorious today. I've absolutely no idea what they meant by monsoon season. And an over 80. Is it good eggs? Good eggs. You're a good egg, certain times. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving the Malady Rendezvous, which is the hotel that we're staying at after a lovely breakfast to do a temple tour of the old town, the old city of Chiang Mai, very excited. But of course, the way that we get there is via Grab. Thank you, Kong. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And where have we arrived to, sweetheart? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Temple. Spot on, a temple. This is Wat Phra Singh Temple, which was built in 1300s, 1345, I think. And it has the most revered statue of Buddha in the whole of the north. This is the one to come to in Chiang Mai. It's way cooler in person than it is on um, Yeah, photos. when you see it in a photo, yeah, it's when unreal you see it on a photo, to see. So it doesn't really do it justice. Like the colours as well, like the blue and the gold. Unreal. It's just way bigger. How are you today? I'm very well, how are you? Oh, fine, thank you. You look very well. So what is the most important thing to do at temples? Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off They're and cover your shoulders. Long trousers to cover your knees. So we're doing that. And then you can admire the beauty. What do you think inside? It's so nice. It's so pretty, isn't it? I do find it quite amazing being inside temples because you always feel like there is a sense of calm and, you know, relaxed whenever you're in them and you're looking at these wonderful Buddha statues. But there's always one thing to remember once you're inside, you never have your feet facing the Buddha. You always either sit on your feet or have them facing to the side. But it is also really cool to see the Thai people that worship here, they come to actually say their prayers. It's definitely good to know that here at this temple, if you don't have the adequate clothing, there are many vendors that do sell t-shirts and trousers to cover your knees. What I find the most crazy is it is actually the middle of monsoon season. We're currently on, what? what's the date today? Oh my gosh. It's like the 18th of June 18th, yeah. and it's got to be about 32 degrees Celsius. It is boiling yeah. hot and our weather forecast actually said that it's what? Weather warnings, thunder warnings, lightning. Yeah, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Not it definitely doesn't look like it's going to rain anytime soon. Immediately when you come to this temple, you'll notice the big golden Buddha, but that's actually not the most famous one. The one in there with the little black headpiece, and that is because that was believed to offer protection to the people of Chiang Mai over many years. And also this period right now, because you'll also notice a lot of the monks, they will come to pray. People will offer prayers there. That was very loud, sweetie. You did it twice as hard, twice as obnoxiously. <laughs> the most revered thing that Thai people can do for their family is actually go to monk training school. So a lot of these people will go and train to be a monk for two to three years. And that differs in the Western world where obviously parents all want their children to go to university and study and get a degree. But over here, the Buddhists, the Thai people really want their children 
to become a monk. How happy are you to be outside the temple now oh so you can God. take that top off? <laughs> I was sweltering. In your heart. Unbearably hot, but it was really cool. It was good to see. But you're probably boiling hot, sweating, in need of a drink straight off you've wandered around that amazing temple. So fortunately, there is the most famous cafe here in Chiang Mai that sells some of the best coffee in the whole of this amazing Thai city. Just a two minute walk across the road. So just outside the temple, if you just literally cross the road, you'll find Akma Arma Coffee, which is the most famous coffee house here in Chiang Mai. It's meant to have the best coffee here as well. It's also sustainable, supporting farmers in the area. And I'm assuming you can get your juice. I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> I can get my coffee. Oh. Let's head on in. This is a really cool place. So the normal people wait inside for their coffee because they come to a coffee shop for a bit of respite from the heat, but me needing sun because we don't get any of it back home in the UK. I'm in a sun trap and I'm dripping wet. And you're powering through. And I'm the powering tan. through. I'm powering through, waiting for this coffee, this iced coffee. For the sake of the town. For the sake of the town, because that's oh. all I need. That's why we're here. And for the temples and the Thai culture, of course. Obviously. But for the town, of course. I've got the goods. Oh my God. I got the goods. Woo. So there is a massive coffee drinking culture here in Chiang Mai. It is the city that is the most famous in Thailand for its coffee houses. And there's also a lot of farms as well nearby where you can actually do the Samwang loop and you can see them actually grow their own coffee beans. How's your coffee, sweetheart? Free of coffee. Yeah, well, you don't drink coffee, do you? <laughs> it's a plum tea thing. It's plum tea thing. thing. How was yeah. that? Really nice. Mm? Really, really nice. This is good. This is fruity. This is their house blend. Much better than Starbucks uh, and nowhere near as expensive as Starbucks. You put cream all over my face. Yeah, but it's dripping down your face. Can you <laughs> I know it's stinging my eyeballs, but we do it for the vlog, so it's fine. <laughs> and after such a lovely coffee break, we're actually making our way to the next temple, Wat Chedi Luang. We are actually noticed on this main road to get there. You'll see all the people setting up their shop for this evening's Sunday night walk-in market. Um, the Sunday night walking market here in Chiang Mai is the biggest one, the one that you should not miss. It's the most famous, the best, and I'm very excited about it. Is this where we're coming tonight? This is where we're coming tonight, yeah. on this exact same road. It's exciting. I know. Hopefully the food's better than yesterday. Yeah. Even though we didn't eat any of the food. We just so we judged can't really from, comment. We judged from afar. Yeah, we did. And if you haven't seen that <laughs> video, of course, you can click that card up there and watch that. That was yesterday where we did the Saturday night walking market. Great ice cream though. Great ice cream roll. You prefer this to? Bangkok. How come? I don't know. I just think it's sweet. I feel more like I'm in Thailand here, do you not? Yeah, it feels a lot more like authentic. rural. Authentic, yeah, authentic, it's just lovely. Out in the sticks a bit. Yeah, you know. yeah, I prefer it to the city. But I love all these little coffee shops as well and like yeah. Thai massages. You've got Song Tao, which is the local form of transport. What are we getting? Um, we're staying with the safe option of orange juice because we have <laughs> no idea. We have? What you have sugar cane, you have plum. Yeah, coconut. all sorts of good stuff. Coconut. Coconut. Sugar cane, yeah. Plum and something I can't pronounce. And what have we gone for? Orange juice. Thank you. Bumka. 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 How's the orange, babe? So nice. So refreshing. Yeah. What's different about the orange here? Like at home, it's really bitter sometimes. Yeah. Um, it's really sweet here, don't you? Yeah, think? it's not sour. Yeah, at it's not all. sour. It's really nice. But it's really get the elephant pan culture. <laughs> It's unbearably hot and anything, even this, it's I can't hot. stop sweating. <laughs> what a beautiful, authentic Thai temple right opposite a 7-Eleven. So it is a payment thing here. How much? 50 baht? 50. And so we are at Wat Shedi Luang, which is another of the most famous temples here in Chiang Mai. But in this little section here, which is the In Thakin Pillar, women aren't actually allowed inside. And the reason for that is because they menstruate. And it is actually believed that that is because it humiliates the sanctity of the pillar. So, you know, we've got to be respectful of the cultures out here and I'm absolutely fine with that. How do you feel about it? Happy Absolutely fine. Outside. So she's going to stand outside, catch a bit of a tan. I'm going to go check out what's in there and bring you guys along with me. How was it in there? I love man stuff. So, so good. You missed out so much. In the man cave? 
in the man cave. That's the man cave. There's no women allowed. No, it was fine. It was just colourful, pretty, very green. They like their greens and emeralds here. Some this, Hannibal this is one that I'm not sure I understand. I don't get the, um, the skeletons. Are we gonna die here? And this is Wat Chedi Luang, which is one of the original temples here in Chiang Mai. And I absolutely love the way that this looks because it's very, very different to the other ones in which they're all like really well put together, really well built. But here, an earthquake actually destroyed it. Now there's actually a bit of contention with the way in which it was put back together by the Japanese government and the UNESCO because they did it in more of a central Thai style rather than the Lana Kingdom style. The Lana Kingdom being Chiang Mai, the northern part of Thailand before it actually joined with Thailand itself. It's still a pretty amazing place to come and have a look at. I don't feel like it's a, it doesn't give me Thai vibes. It doesn't give you Thai vibes? What no. vibes does it give you? Um, I don't know. What vibes are you getting, babe? Uh, what is the vibe here, I don't sweet know girl? the pressure. You don't I know can't pressure. think of a vibe. You shouldn't have bothered because you can just come here and walk around for an entire day <laughs> and it's so hot that you'll just literally lose a stone. Weight loss tips from Jenny. Wow, what do you think of that? that I is, like that. That is pretty, so pretty. unreal. The golden Buddha with the jade, I think it's jade head. That um, gives a lot of feminine energy, don't you think? The head thing. That or that? Yeah. No, that. That or that, that. Oh, sorry, that. What's the, um, is it like the thing with the snakes? Who's that? Uh, Medusa. That, it's giving me that. Medusa vibes. Yeah. I believe Medusa's an evil thing. This yeah. is very spiritual and heavenly and Thai. She's like a good version. She's the good She's version. The good, version. The good Medusa. Yeah. Just outside of the temple, we found this lovely little local shop where they actually create their garments here. The lady is actually doing some sewing over there. She's using the machine. Oh, that's lovely. That's perfect. Or well, you can just like wear it. Wear it the other way? Yeah. Um, you can just like wear it down. I Please. really love that. Yeah, this okay, is that's, cute. That's 70 oh, Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you very much. And so for lunch, we've come to a very highly recommended restaurant for the very famous Khao Soi. I think that's how you pronounce it, with chicken, leg, and of course the famous noodles on the top. This is a local's favorite. I absolutely loved it last time I came to Chiang Mai and you can't not try it. How are you feeling about trying it? Not terrified, but not I'm- Not terrified. Not terrified. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know, Have a I'll go. let you know. It's got the famous fried noodles on the top chicken and like a coconut sauce with some spiciness and just flavors that are delicious. Go on, have a taste. Mm. Good? Do you actually like it? No, it is good. It's like a really nice curry. I am so excited to try this. Mm. That is perfect. I just love the crispy noodles on top. 10 out of 10 from me. So as we're making our way over to the next temple through Chiang Mai, you'll actually notice it's only five o'clock and all of the vendors have set up shop for tonight's walking street market. The very famous Sunday night walking market here in Chiang Mai and it is getting very busy already. You can see all the vendors are out in full force getting ready wow. for the craziness that is to come this evening. Wow, yeah. This looks cool, yeah, doesn't it? This is a lot, um, I can already tell it's a lot better than This is gonna night. be a lot better yeah, than last night. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Forget about the Saturday night. This is the stuff this that you need. This is where it's at. Okay, we need to not overeat at dinner yeah. and eat this. Wow, look at all this stuff. That's a wok for you. That is a wok. Okay. <laughs> look at this. Um, You've got a kebab. Okay. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I've got to say, it also looks really well organized. Like the fact that this seems to be the sort of entrance and it just takes you straight into the market through there. That's pretty cool. Seems way more hygienic than last night. Than last night, yeah. So if you guys are unsure where to eat whilst in Thailand, just look for this symbol right here and this one that is directly above me. That is the Thai's version of the Michelin Guide. And that is a good recommendation for somewhere you can trust. I'm not convinced. You're not convinced? No. But those are all authentic. This is all the juices for tonight, yeah. It's like they read our mind, like we just always need juice. That's so good, it's fresh as well. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's so good. Should we get another? Yeah. Should we get one more? Yeah. 
sugar rush. Who's could we get one? Okay. This is something that I love about Chiang Mai. It's like every corner you walk down, there's either a really nice juice place, coffee shop, or a fresh juice stand, squeezing fresh oranges. And it's only 100 baht. One bottle, right? One bottle. Okay. Three for 100 baht. Three bottles for 100 baht. No sugar, no water, just the sugar from the orange itself. Just keep it nice and icy and cold. Obviously, don't drink the, uh, the, old, the old ice. I know what happened Yeah, we all spend the whole night on the toilet. How good is that? So refreshing. Unbelievable. So good. Mm. Okay, baby, tell us about this temple. This is Wat In Thakin. What is the history of it? Maybe you keep asking me things I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, I know that much. The locals seem to be using it I to I know play. it's a temple. And there's a it's lovely a white Buddha inside. As you can see, there's a few white Buddhas and lots of fun for all the family. <laughs> Where are we right now, sweetheart? What is this? In front of another three. Three what? Wise men. Three wise, no, the three kings That's of one. Chiang Mai. The three founding the fathers. The three of, founding fathers. Yes, the three founding fathers of Chiang, of Chiang Mai. Mai. It's a cool thing to see. It's in the central part of the city. It's right by the Wat In Thakin Temple and Wat Cheri Luang. So it's worth seeing. There's also a museum just right there as well, which is normally open, but it is 5 p.m. So we have missed that. But we're just going to keep moving. Shall we keep moving? Yeah, let's keep it going. You look so hot. Isn't she so hot? <laughs> What is it? This what, what about reminds it? me of when you win a fish at the fun fair because the ice is <laughs> and I'm just carrying it around You're like carrying I've won a fish a prize. that you won, your goldfish that you're going to enjoy for like five minutes. Yeah, and then it dies and for you a few flush days. It. Yeah, and your fish dies and you're a fish murderer. And you are, a fish and then you flush it down, fish the, down the toilet. Exactly. Now the museum is the Lana Folk Life Museum and it has a lot of interesting information about the history of Chiang Mai. I have done it the last time I came, which was about four or five years ago. And for a rainy day, for a bad, you know, monsoon season kind of day, this is the perfect place to spend it. You learn a lot about the history of Chiang Mai and the Lana Kingdom. What's the Lana Kingdom, sweetheart? Maybe it is rainy season. No, but what is the Lana Kingdom? Hmm. My it's, the, it's the old kingdom name of the north of Thailand, I believe. I'm a terrible student. And I'm not the best teacher today. Mm. No. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Good time. <laughs> I don't think I was meant to do that. I don't think you were meant to do that. That feels really, really naughty. Really naughty. That's you though. Brits abroad. I had I to save to that save one. It. I had to save you on that one. That one could have been really unacceptable in the, in the grounds of the temple. Very inappropriate. And so welcome to what? Shang Man, which was actually, I think, the first temple here in Chiang Mai, which was built and founded by the first king, one of the first kings, called King Mangrai, I think he was called, it was built in the 1200s, and it is very famous for these beautiful elephants, which are around the Shedi, Shedi, C-H-E-D-I, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm doing better. I actually love this one. This one's so cool with the elephants. I think it's just really, really, you know, like the fact that it's weathered, Makes it look really cool. The little Buddha in the window there, how yeah. sweet is that? It's well sweet. It's teeny tiny. I'll tell you what else is sweet. Oh God. All that orange say? juice that we've been drinking. Facts. Look, he's like travel sized. <laughs> travel sized? <laughs> teeny weeny Buddha. You have got to be aware of the fact that if you do come to these temples, they do often close around 5 p.m. So this one is closed. So we're not actually able to go inside, but that being said, it's still lovely to just walk around the grounds. I do find a lot of them inside are somewhat samey. You know, you tend to see the few Buddha statues, a few people praying. And what I tend to find is the most enjoyable part of the experience is wandering around the grounds of the temple because it does seem more charming than, you know, the inside. Unless, of course, you are a Buddhist and you do worship those statues. When would you say the best time to come see these temples are? the best time. Yeah. Well, now it's not as hot. Yeah, it's not as hot it's in the nowhere afternoon. nowhere near as busy. Yeah, exactly. So probably now. The most authentic spot in Asia. Ding dong. Where's the ding dong? Why is it not ding dong for me? How much was that? Nine baht? Uh, not bad. 
Yeah, nine each. So the next temple that we're visiting isn't quite a temple of ordinary sorts. It is the temple of... One broken nail. One broken nail for Jenny. Okay, we were unsuccessful in that one. They don't do nail extensions, apparently, whatever that is. Um, she's now on her phone looking like for the next one. Like it's so simple being a guy. Well, no, it's not. We have to escort you guys to the uh, nail salon. Yes, you do. Pretend we know what you need. In reality, we don't. We yeah. just sit here and nod. Sawadika, do you do nail extension? No, no, not for me, for my girlfriend. She didn't understand me and didn't speak a word of English, but it says online they do nail extensions and they are close to the hotel, so we're gonna go to Love's Nails. Let's order a grab and see if they can fix my girlfriend's nails. Sorry, crab. Off we go to get our nails done. <laughs> Spilled that all over my face. Yeah, that's how I feel saying that sentence. Yeah, it's a girl's day out. I never Is knew that fun for you? those words would ever come out of my mouth. Neither did I. We're going to get our nails done. Bye-bye. Enjoy. As we were driving through Chiang Mai to Jenny's nail salon, I noticed that there's a big Muay Thai arena fight going to start. And whilst we're here in Thailand, I do want to watch Muay Thai because that is obviously very famous out here. So I have left her to continue on to the nail salon and I'm going to go check this out. Be sure to watch. televised Muay Thai fight. A 16 year old and a 17 year old just beating the crap out of one another. So aggressive. <laughs> this is so aggressive. so aggressive. I wouldn't want to step in the ring with one of these two, put it that way. So unbelievably fun, a live televised Muay Thai fight. But we are gonna head back to the hotel now, get freshened up, have some dinner there. But first we need to find our grab among all of this craziness. You sure you've got everything? I have it. <laughs> but before we do dinner at the hotel, what are we doing first? We're going for a night swim Dying at to this, do this unreal day. hotel, and that looks like where I want to be. Sawadee so Cab. This is cherry blossom. Yes, sir. Please, can I get one cherry blossom? Yes, sir. What do you think? This is such a nice way to just relax after a busy day of exploring the temples in the old city of Chiang Mai. There's just no better way to. End it. Chill out. So just chill out mm. in this relaxing jacuzzi at this amazing hotel. Wow, they look good. How's your one? It's really good. I bet yours is just. Taste my one. What is this one? That's lychee. Oh, wow. Is that really good? Mm. Woo! And so for dinner, we are spending it at, of course, the hotel that we're staying at, the Malady. And this is such a beautiful setting. I've got some salmon, we've had some soup, I had a salad, and you've got the duck, got some great white wine. And it is just so beautiful being out here by the pool, seeing that all lit up. It's really such a pleasant place to come and enjoy some delicious food. 
really impressed with this. How is your duck, sweetie? It's amazing. Is it actually? It's, yeah, it's wow. really, you'd really like it. A little taste of that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, that plum sauce. Mm. That plum sauce, though. So sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. And so we are back in the market, and it seems the fighting still continues. We came for the shopping, though. And the desserts. We are back at another market. Are you ready to see the same tap that we saw at the last no, one? I feel like this one's better. This is better because this, this is the better. Sunday night walking street market, which is only on a Sunday, but it has some of the best things, the most options, and all the things that you're ever going to need at a Thai market from elephant pants, like trinkets this, that, does that you nothing whatsoever. I think you could put an earring in no. there. Yeah, maybe. Or if you're a taxi driver, of course, putting it put on, on your, your dashboard. dashboard. It's got to be yeah. on the dashboard. Oh, and plenty be. of other things. So there's lots at this market, lots of food options as well. And we're just going to explore. What do we think about the necklace? Double necklace. I think it's nice. We've got 10 minutes left. We've got 10 minutes. We literally got here in 10 minutes. Guys, if you're going to come to this Sunday street market, make sure you come in good time because it does start to wrap up around 10 30, especially by 11. Things are going to start going. The stores are going to be put down. So if you want the best selection of things, make sure you guys get yourself down here before 11. Very cool that this market is quite literally woven between loads of beautiful different temples but obviously it is very late which is why all of the stalls are being taken down and we've not got the same kind of selection right now tiny little chairs for tiny little people <laughs> i feel like alice in wonderland <laughs> It's so small. You need to shrink. It's gonna break. Don't say that. No, I know. After all that food you've eaten. Do you know what? You're pushing it. I'm really pushing you're it. You're pushing it. Yeah, you're gonna break it. What have I just spotted? Moons. <laughs> moons. 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 Wherever the moons are, I go. Oh my god. Moons? Hey. Moons? Moons? The fuck? We got moons. Hey babe, what flavoured moon do you want? Do you know what flavoured moon I want? You want uh, this flavour. This flavour and uh, this flavour. Oh, Fancy moon, babe? Yeah. Do you guys want moons? Moons, moons, yeah. Moons, moons, moons. I will take that one. No, what one do you want? No, I want the stand, babe. Mm. Yum, yum. What flavour is that, sweetie? Chocolate moon. How is it? Not like the moons from Tesco. Ah, yeah, but they're about 50 times the price. Six yeah, quid for like five. Yeah, for a bar. Ridiculous. How much were they? 40p. No, they were 40 baht. So, oh. about a quid. Yeah. Quid for four. Nah. Fish. Hey, no Look fish. at you. Why are you a fish? We have such it's weird names for each other. That's meant to be cute and that's disgusting. That's you. No, when I say fish, this is what I think of. Like, aww. Ooh, squishy, 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 squishy. I think of this. You're a shrimp. That's rotten. Go, go, go. It always feels like such an achievement when you barter a good deal on the um, the old tuk tuk. He told us 150, we said 100. We're off to Riverside. Woo! Oh, I've got smile. It makes me so happy. Wow, that looks like a vibe. back after such a fun time at the good view at the riverside two of the best spots that you guys need to know about in chiang mai if you want to have a good night out what do you reckon am i right so right with that being said with her being on the bed she's now on the bed <laughs> that is the end of this week's video so guys if you have enjoyed it hit that like button hit the subscribe button for more and the bell notification to get notified for the weekly uploads and check out these other videos on here but with that being said that's the end of this one i'll see you 
in the next one. Put your hand on the screen.